Uh, hello friends, today we will see the derivation for safe function of a constant strain triangle. So this is our constant strain triangle, two coordinate axes you can see here x and y since this is a 2D element. Uh, we have three nodes, node number 1, 2 and 3, three corners of a triangle and at each corner we have two degrees of freedom, one in the vertical direction that is represented by V and one in horizontal direction that is represented by u. So at one node we have two degrees of freedom so we have total of three nodes so for this element we have six degrees of freedom. The displacement vector is represented by u1, u2, u3, v1, v2 and v3. From the consideration of compatibility and completeness the following displacement model is selected that is u equals to alpha 1 plus alpha 2x plus alpha 3y and v that is our vertical displacement that is given by alpha 4 plus alpha 5x plus alpha 6y. So these are the two assumed solution u and v. Now we will apply the boundary condition. The boundary conditions are nothing but the coordinate points, coordinate values for x and y. So for first node u1 equals to alpha 1 plus alpha 2 x1 plus alpha 3 y. See here, in the first equation we are putting u equals to u1 that is displacement of node 1 okay and for x and y we are replacing x1 and y1. Similarly for node number 2 displacement in horizontal direction is given by alpha 1 plus alpha 2 x plus alpha 3 y y2. Here x and y is replaced by x2 and y2. Similarly, displacement at node 3 u3 is given by this expression. Here we are replacing x and y by x3 and y3. So these are the three equations. Okay. Uh, now we will write this in matrix form. We will try to write this in matrix form. So the matrix form will come like this u1, u2, u3. These are this is our variables that is 1, x1, y1, 1 x1 y1 1 x2 y2 1 x3 y3 that i have written here and alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 if you will do the multiplication suppose u1 equals to 1 into alpha 1 x1 into alpha 2 y1 into alpha 3 so this is your first equation similarly second equation u2 1 into alpha 1 x2 into alpha 2 y2 into alpha 3 likewise you will get u3 1 into alpha 1 x3 into alpha 2 y3 into alpha 3. So this is your u3. So this is the equation and the unknown is alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3 that we have to calculate. So to calculate this alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3 uh, what we will do we will bring this term on the opposite side. So this will become inverse. So alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3 will be equals to inverse of this matrix into u1, u2 and u3 that is your displacement matrix. <coughs> now uh, you have seen in your first year of engineering how to calculate the inverse of a matrix that is given by 1 upon determinant of that matrix into uh, adjoint of that matrix. Okay, So the, de the determinant of this matrix will be equals to 2 into capital A. Here capital A is the area of that triangle area of your constant strain triangle okay and so i have written one upon determinant that is 2a and this is your adjoint of that matrix okay now the question how we are getting this so for this location we have to omit this row and this column so doing the cross multiplication what you will get x2 y3 y2 x3 x2 y3 minus x3 y2 Okay, similarly for this location you have to omit this row and this column what you will get? You will get x1 y3 minus x3 y1. Similarly you will get for all locations you will get these values. Okay, now to simplify this expression we will write a1 for this one, a2 for this one, a3 for this one. B1 for this expression, 
B2 for this expression and B3 for this expression. Now see here carefully. This is the transpose. Now when you will uh, substitute this transpose, the rows will come to your column and column will go to your rows. So this A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3 transpose. Now you can write this as A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3. So this is the value what we have obtained for our alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3. Where A1, A2 and A3 these values are written that you have to remember. Now in the first slide we have seen u is given by alpha 1 plus alpha 2x plus alpha 3y. Okay, if we will write this equation in vector form, it will become 1xy alpha 1 alpha 2 and alpha 3. This is our row matrix and this is our column matrix. Okay, when we will do the multiplication, 1 into alpha 1, x into alpha 2, y into alpha 3. So this is the equation that you will get. And we have obtained the value of this alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3 here. This is our value of alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3. So we will substitute this value here. 1 x y this row matrix into this value of alpha 1 alpha 2 and alpha 3 matrix. Now you have to simplify this and you will get you have to do the multiplication. So what how you will do the multiplication 1 into a1 x into b1 y into c1 okay similarly you have to do all the multiplications and finally you will get this term a1 plus b1x plus c1y upon 2a this is also a row matrix okay we have three components the second component will be a2 plus b2x plus c2y upon 2a the third component is a3 plus b3x plus c3y upon 2a these are nothing but our safe functions okay n1 n2 and n3 so these are the safe functions of our constant strain triangle into our this is our displacement matrix here it is represented by delta so n1 n2 and n3 this is what we are going to derive in the same way similarly you will get the derivation for v also that is your vertical displacement so this is our displacement horizontal displacement and vertical displacement it will be written like this just now you have derived for that this is your this into u1 this into v1 v2 v3 so we can combine u and b and we will get an expression like this in some books you will find that n1 0 n2 0 n3 and 0 okay so there you have to pay attention this order will be different if that is the situation n1 0 n2 0 n3 0 so here, here it will become u1, b1, u2, v2, u3, v3. So I will suggest you to go with uh, these notations and this is our safe function. Thank you.